Hi everyone, welcome to AI Product Builders. I'm excited to share another exciting Autogen tutorial today. Today we'll be building group of AI agent that analyzes the stock price for us and writes a comprehensive blog post based on the research. So we'll be using Autogen here. Autogen, Autogen offers a unified multi-agent conversation framework as a high level of abstraction of using foundation models. Autogen has also launched their studio with a web UI where you can build agents without actually writing code so if you want to check out the video please check the link above so let's jump right in today we'll be creating three agents agent one is our financial assistant agent two our research assistant agent three is our writer so each of them have one skill right financial assistant basically checks for the current stocks of nvidia and tesla and how it basically analyzes how is the performance over the months in terms of percentage then and research assistant will also be using the same uh, same task called financial task but the skill is kind of different the, the research assistant will investigate possible reasons of the stock performance and our agent three is a writer uses skill called writing task it basically develops an engaging blog post using any information provided that's it that's how our agents work it basically involves a couple of steps you have to start installing autogen define a skill add a model and then create agents and create a chat flow so this is how it looks like for example a user a financial assistant her research assistant and writer how they're talking to each other so the basically the user is the user proxy agent a financial assistant is performing the stock analysis as you see over here and then researcher is also coming up with analysis on what's happening over months and once the researcher comes up with the analysis a writer is writing a blog post the writer comes up with actually multiple blog posts which is really cool so this is what you going to see in action today before jumping into the code i also want you to understand couple of autogen concepts for example we'll be using initiate chats um, function today so initiate chat is nothing but a list of dictionaries containing the information of the chat because we are today we are building a multi agent conversational chat so that's the reason we'll be using this function so this fun function has basically a couple of arguments which you need to be aware of recipient is the recipient agent sender is the sender agent the main thing you need to know is the message what does the message mean what is the summary method summary method is nothing but a string specifying the method to get summary from a previous chat for example and then uh, there's something called summary prompt as well this this is basically a field that can be used to specify the prompt used to extract summary when summary method is used and then the carryover is something it can be used to specify the carryover information from the previous chat so these are a couple of arguments you need to be aware of to use this function initiate chat so the first step is to install autogen so just say skip install autogen for those who already installed autogen just say pip install upgrade autogen so once you're done installing the autogen you have to set up your api key today we'll be using openai api and uh, we'll be using gbd 3.5 model as our llm so all you have to do is export open api key and place your api key over here bring up the api key you have to create a file called oai config list this is basically where we place our model so here the model i want to use is gpd 3.5 turbo you can specify any model you would like to use so create this file and input your model that's basically it and now you have to start uh, create a file called agents and agents.py let's start with the code so start by importing autogen right you import autogen and you have to mention the tasks for our agent the first task is financial task for our two agents which are financial assistant and the research assistant right the first task is basically what are the current stock prices of nvidia and tesla and how is the performance over the years or months and then second task is investigate possible reasons of the stock performance those are basically a financial assistant which will be giving to our financial assistant and the research assistant and the next task is writing task it's basically developing an engaging blog post using the information provided by the our financial assistant and a research assistant and then we have to set up our uh, model which is gbt 3.5 which i already mentioned and then we have to configure llm api key and then you have to configure that's it that's basically it then we have to create all three agents as i already showed you before 
we have to create an agent called financial assistant research assistant and a writer our financial assistant will be using a function called assistant agent so what does assistant agent function in autogen basically do it's designed to act as an ai assistant using llms by default and do not take any human input or code execution so that's what you see here all three agents will be using assistant agent function so it basically takes couple of arguments the name so for a financial assistant the name is financial assistant and it takes basically llm to perform the task and a research assistant will be also using the assistant agent as a function and name as a researcher and using an llm and a writer name writer with llm config system it also takes a system message basically we say you are a professional writer known for providing insightful and engaging articles and then we'll start creating a user proxy agent this is a very important function in autogen so you will be almost using in every um application you would be building using agents user proxy agent is nothing but conceptually a proxy agent for humans taking human input at each and every interaction of a chat and also has the capability of coding or calling functions or tools it basically has couple of arguments the name which is user human input would never basically it never takes a human input and is termination message it checks if the content of a message ends with terminate if it ends with a terminate which takes the last message from the chat history as a mobile that's it that's basically the user proxy agent and then this is where the magic happens with the initiate chat we are building agents who will have couple of chats between each of them to perform the, the entire task and that's the reason we are using user initiate chats and i also walked you through a couple of arguments which this function contains so for our first agents we have something called recipient as a financial assistant and a message is a financial task here is the message for our first agent and then we mentioning the peer history to be true and the summary method is last message um so what does this mean basically taking the last message of the chat history as the summary and for our second agent research assistant the message is the financial task one as i already showed you here basically investigate possible reasons of the stock performance and the summary method is refl reflection with llm this basically means that it summarizes the takeaways from the conversation and it does not add any introductory phrases that's what it basically says and the recipient for a third agent is a writer message is writing task the writing task is to creating a blog post and then carry over carry over is nothing but ba basically including certain information which should be carried over to write a blog post so a writer would be taking information provided by the financial assistant research assistant and carry over that message to in order to create a blog post so that's basically how you build agents it's super easy now that you have built agents let's check in action if this is actually working click on run and this is how the response look like it starts from a user to financial assistant saying what are the current stock prices of nvidia and tesla and the financial assistant says that to get the current stock price of nvidia and tesla i have to use uh, some tools to fetch the information right it basically writes python code to fetch the information from y finance using an api and comes up with nvidia and tesla stock price and pass it over to research assistant also provides a very detailed plan on how the research is being performed and they'll have couple of couple of more interaction between each of them if they need to make, fetch more information the code is executed again and the fetch information from different apis here they are using news api in order to understand what's actually happening in the market this is really cool so once the researcher is done with extensive research it basically asks the writer to come up with an engaging blog post so here you see the um research or analysis basically comes up with the current stock prices and performance over the past month and pass over the information to the writer develop an engaging blog post using any information provided and the writer comes up with a very engaging blog post so this is how the agent interact with each other and perform a complete task which is really cool i'm actually impressed with the response 
because uh, the agents are using different functions tools and skills to perform a task you know for example a research assistant and a financial assistant they are using different third party apis to fetch the information and provide you the right answer so this is a really cool thing because if you have to do all of this by yourself it would take a lot of time i mean you could use any third party tool but if you want to build an application something like this and you know you want agents to work for you i think this is really cool so i think that's it for today if you like this tutorial please consider giving it a like share and subscribe thank you and see you